Hello everybody, today we are going to be playing some Minecraft and this is going to be one of my first videos in a very long time. Primarily because honestly I just didn't really feel like it and there wasn't really anything to make videos on. But here we are on uh, Minecraft World, I probably started like what, a month ago, maybe two months. But I've been on and off on it and uh, today we are going to begin the largest project I've probably ever done in survival Minecraft and we're going to be constructing a massive castle so I've already built the layout and most of like all the details and stuff oh okay right in uh, my creative world but uh, we're now going to be transferring that to the survival world and yeah I already have quite a bit of stuff built in this world and I'll show that off probably after uh, we finish this because we're just traveling a little far away to do some insta mining to try to gather a lot of stone because this, this building is quite heavy on the amount of uh, stone that's necessary primarily because it's a castle so that's to be expected but yeah I wanted to go to some new chunks that I know are new uh, let's see here we are we're in the jungle I wanted to go to these chunks because I know they're new and I was hoping that maybe we'd be able to get some of like the deep slate and the new deep slate ores, copper. Just gotta listen for some lava. I know you're not supposed to do this in Minecraft, but yeah, I, we're like glitching through the ground. So okay. Oh, what? Are, what am I? Oh, here's deep slate. Okay. So I don't have any torches. That's an oversight. Okay, well, we're gonna have to mine this space out. Um, I have all these shulker boxes that I want to fill with stone. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just mine this out. And once I have the beacon set up, uh, I'll cut back to you guys. Okay, guys, I now have this uh, set up. So, whoa, we can just insta mine everything now. Okay, so I do not need dirt. I'm gonna try to fill my whole inventory with just, just stone. Did I? I think I just threw stone out of my inventory. But to do that, we're gonna... Actually, let me put down my ender chest. Put it right next to this. And I don't really need my bow right now. Or my axe. I'll keep these things, just in case I get attacked. Don't need that. I wanna have the most inventory space possible. I don't need a water bucket. And all these shulker boxes are gonna be put down. So... <laughs> yeah, um... Let me just surround this with shulker boxes yeah now i'm gonna throw out this diary and this whole th uh area is just gonna get filled with uh stone so that means i can only pick up stone which is really all i want the only blocks i need are variations of stone so that includes like cobblestone and stone bricks and stuff and then andesite i need small amounts of diary and granite and then yeah, that's basically it. Well, for the wall, for the walls at least. Then there's a lot of red concrete involved, and uh, dark oak. Those are very prevalent blocks. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be mining all the diorite. I'm gonna try to I'd like to keep it relatively flat. Just remove all that dirt. This area is not the best area. There's literally just so many other blocks. Like the one place, every other place is just all stone, and then this is, oh, here, here, you can have some diorite, you can have some uh, granite, you can have some dirt. Like, no, I, I just want stone. I was thinking of maybe terraforming my own custom one, although I've never done that, so that would be an adventure, to say the least. How much? Okay, that's quite a good amount. Now, let me just open up one, one or two slots for andesite. There we go. Because andesite is useful as well. Oh, notification, let's go. Okay, guys, uh, I've just been mining out this area for quite a while, and I was just about done, well, besides this andesite. And I find some diamonds, so... Uh, let me just mine around them real quick. And then I'll get my... Actually, I'll, I'll just fortune them right here. 
Normally I silk touch it first, but okay, let's see how many we get. Oh, okay, there we go. Just, uh, make sure there's no lava around this. Although I don't hear any, so we should be in the clear here. Yeah, okay. How many? I think that was four, and we got eight, so that doubled. So that's pretty solid. Okay, yeah. Now I'm just going to continue mining. Okay, guys. We have returned to the base, and yeah, this is it. So we got this nice little, uh, what are these called? Cocoa beans. We got a cocoa bean farm here. It's very nice. And then we got this house. It's, look, it's coming along real nice. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So this is something that uh, someone who randomly joined Phil and they never finished because they never joined back. Uh, but here's the actual place. It's not the best looking, and there's it, there's a lot of it broken because I'm not the only one that plays. So other people just randomly break things. So this is like my house that I built. This is another person's house, and this is another person's house. And this is, underneath this, there's a carrot farm, and there used to be six layers, but it was so good that it was lagging my world. So, we deleted five of the layers, and now there's uh, just one, but we still have, like, practically infinite carrots. Wait, did, did one of them die or something? Because there should be some coming in here. Uh, I don't know, maybe the minecart got removed. But we still have practically infinite carrots. Uh, and, actually, let me go through this way. This way looks a little bit nicer. Uh, yeah, there's some seam blocks there. Um, so, wait, oh, I thought I saw a zombie there. So, this is the cow farm. Not really used that much, because there's not enough cows up there. And, th this tunnel was simply to mm. get some villagers, because I found some zombie villagers over there. Like, because there's a plains over there. And then I cured them and brought them over here. But, if we go up this, um, it, you, you gotta stay on the edge of it, or else you'll hit your head. We got this bridge. Uh, and then this area wasn't originally grass or anything. I put it all there. So, now we have this path, and you go down here. And then, uh, obviously it won't just be, like, land like this when it's done. But, this is the first building that I previously talked about. And, what's in here? Oh, yeah, this is just the, some of the supplies that I used. So, yeah, there's still more. So, if we go back up here, um, let me just get to this bridge. Uh, so, we fly down here, and you can see that there's a lot of the uh, dripstone and glowberries, and I added those once uh, 1.17 came out, because this world was created before that. So we're not going to go, actually, we'll go in this house, because it has another thing in it. Uh, so, this is the zombie grinder right here. I'm not going to activate it, because I don't feel like it. But, that's how we get XP, although it's not the most efficient. <laughs> you may notice that there's another door here, just because that used to be there. But I needed to remove a zombie from there and move him, so there could be no door. But then I forgot that I moved it there, so, and I made a new one. And then, uh, so here there's some storage. Uh, not really that much stuff in it, although we might take some of this, like the andesite. Just because that'll make the process of uh, getting it. I'm okay. That was very sad. That'll make the process of getting it from the instrument area faster. And uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, through that Nether portal, which is at a, the end of a tunnel that was very unnecessary. Uh, there is a creeper farm, an iron farm, a sugarcane farm, and there's gonna be a guardian farm. So yeah, there's all the farms are basically over there except for those two. And yeah, that's, that's mostly it. Oh, wait, one more, one more. Uh, if we fly up here, and that's a tutorial, so we're going to ignore that, because tutorials, no bueno. But up here, there used to be a zombie. I had to turn it on peaceful, because I almost died one time. And so d this also used to be a villager breeder, but then I didn't need it anymore, so I removed it. There also used to, wait, what? Okay, so for some reason, there's not one here. I think someone removed it, which is not nice, but whatever. Um... So yeah, this is the villager trading area. Not completely done, just because I didn't really feel like it, and I don't really use it that often. But yeah, that's that's basically it. So uh, now the area where we're gonna build the castle, I want to be this direction. So 
See if we can find one. I this is although this is a mountain in itself, I do not want to build it on top of this mountain because it's very weird shape and not large enough. Uh I wanna I want it to be this way. That's for sure. I maybe that one, but I don't know. It's kind of far. But I, I'd rather it be like you could see it from you go down that path and you see it just in the distance. But that might not happen because don't see any mountains like I guess there's this this might work well it's way behind okay let me go back honestly I might go with that other mountain that's this way because it, it's somewhat close to spawn too so that's semi useful and you can actually see it from this direction we could build like building slowly expanding this way um there's also a broken at the portal over here i do believe right and it's somewhere over there so let me see let's fly over there um maybe we'll do it here but we'll see I'd also like to maybe oh there's goats here oh okay this is cool hello bud are you gonna ram me now oh no I don't know how these work exactly do you do you hit me hit me come on hit me no don't just make goat noises at me come on okay whatever um so oh, what is that oh yeah that's something we're not going to talk about. Oh, there's another goat. Maybe this one will hit me, because I know there's, like, the one type that hits and it's really aggressive. Here, will you hit me? No, oh, okay. So, maybe we'll build it here. Maybe we'll elevate this and make it like our own mountain. Make it custom. Because I want to build the mount the castle into the terrain, because I feel like that would make it look a lot cooler. So, we'll see. Uh, that might be where we end the episode today. Because I don't really feel like starting actually doing it yet. But uh, we'll see. Maybe next episode we'll decide whether or not we're going to actually build the castle up there. And also, here's another portal. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys, for the episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. There's going to be a large amount of these episodes, hopefully. Hopefully this world doesn't get corrupted like basically every other world I do. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.